What's up guys? We are back and we're going to be doing week one predictions for the NFL season, which is right around the corner. It's Football's here. Like Thursday. Oh my god, we're it's so here. close. Um, my favorite time of the year. Yes. We're huge football fans, come from a huge football family. Love football so much. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the predictions. Thursday night game, Patriots-Chiefs. I got the Patriots in this one 27-17. I also have the Patriots in this one, 31 to 17. I mean, like we we talked in another video, Edelman is out, but they're just they're, they're, they're too stacked, too loaded. Tom Brady, see him having a good game here. I see I see the Chiefs dropping off a little bit for the year, but um, all in all, it's going to be a good game. I see the Patriots taking a lately uh, lead late in the game to yeah. so pull away from the Chiefs and winning this game. Bills Jets, who do you got? I got Bills winning that one, 17 to 10. Kind of iffy between them. I mean. They've never been. I've never been a fan of either team. They've never been special on the field, really, to me. So, but I got them winning 17 to 10. Um, I see the Bills winning this one 20 to 10. I don't see a good year for the Jets at all. I think I had them going three and 13 with Josh McCown at quarterback. They don't have any weapons. <laughs> Their receivers are just garbage cans oh, running yeah. routes. Um, I don't see a good year for the Jets. Bills, I see the Bills having a, a, a decent year at eight and eight. But I mean, who is their top receiver now? The Jets. No, the Bills. The Bills? Um, I mean, can you name two of their receivers? I mean, not big Buffalo fans, but I can. I'm a big football fan, and I just can't um, really name them. I mean, I don't see a, a real good year with them, but I do see them getting the bigger in week one. I love the Sean McCoy. Um, I, yeah, I got I got the Bills winning this one. It's not going to be a fun game to watch at all. They're not fun teams <laughs> to watch, but <laughs> I got the Bills. Uh, Texans, Jags. Who do you have? Who do you got? Texans, they're just they're my favorite team, of course, but it's always low-scoring games with them. I mean, their opponents are sometimes high-scoring games, but us, it's always low-scoring. But mm -hmm. I got them winning 14-10 as well. All right, yeah, I got the Texans winning this one 23-16. to Like I said, I like what the Jags did on defense. I think they're going to they're gonna cause a few problems for whoever y'all's quarterback is. Tom Savage, I think, is the starter week one. Yeah, people. Um, I think they'll get a few turnovers off of y'all, but y'all's defense is too good. I don't see Blake Bortles doing a damn thing. I actually, I mean, I did say Chad Henney becoming the starter in week three or so, mm -hmm. but I see him entering that game and Blake Bortles being pulled just because our front seven is that okay. that crazy. That's, that's, that's a bold prediction to see him get pulled this early. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Texans are going to win that one. Steelers, Browns, what do you got? Steelers, I got them winning 24 to 9. I mean, oh. they're just they're supposed to win offense. Yeah, it's, even in a, in a division game, this is a pretty big mismatch. I don't think the Browns match up well with him at all. Yeah. I got the Steelers winning this one 34-14. to 14. And then the, the Browns just lost Joe Hayden to the Steelers, I believe. They did. Yeah, yeah so they did. That was like two days ago. So that would be really cool to see that match up week one. Um, I did mention in the previous video I like Sean K Kaiser Kozer as the Browns. I think he will step up as a not oh, a, I not a see him do good. good, real great quarterback this year, but – he will have a, a decent season. He's going to have games where we're like, yeah, he's a pretty good quarterback. But also, being as young as he is with, with the Browns, he's going to have those games. Where he won't be a – I don't see him being a Dak question. Prescott rookie no, season quarterback, no. but he will – I think he will have a decent year. I really want the Browns to do good. Like, they've been bad for so long now. I, I want to see them. And I actually like Hughes Jackson, their head coach. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think he can fill his shoes and do what he needs to do. I want to see the Browns do a lot better, but yeah, week one, just getting blown off the field. Um, Cardinals and Lions, this is a fun game. I think this is this is really close. Me, I had that one a pretty high scoring game, 38-21 with the Lions winning. I mean, I Ooh. think Matt Matt Stafford, he has he just got the yeah he has biggest NFL up. contract of all time. He has to step up this year, and he's the highest paid Don't quarterback of all time. And I mean, I can name probably. 12 quarterbacks that are better than him <laughs> in the NFL right now, but I don't know if you can name 12. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. I do like Matt Stafford. He he always has um, good stats. He does. But stats, um, they're not leading the playoff wins in this case. I mean, if y'all if y'all play fantasy football out there, he is a good pickup to have. Stafford, it's a good quarterback to have. He puts up a lot of yards and um, a lot of touchdowns. He does. I do like his receivers um, with Golden Tate, Marvin Jones. Um, yeah, um, but I got the Cardinals winning this one, 24-23. So the Cardinals, I like I like the Cardinals defense a lot with um, Honey Badger and Patrick Peterson. So tell me, in that game you have 24-23, do you have, you said the Cardinals will win that one? Yeah, Cardinals are going to win so that one. So do you have the Lions scoring a field goal at the end or scoring a touchdown and missing the two-point? Um, I see the Lions actually 
maybe missing a game winning field goal to take okay. the lead in that one. I think it's going to be 24 23 for like a little while in the I'll fourth quarter. I remember this guy because I want to see where he steps on that one. No, I think I see the Lions possibly missing um, a field goal or getting knocked out of field goal range late. Okay. But it's going to be a heartbreaking loss for the Lions. Bucks, Dolphins, who do you got? I have Tampa Bay going with this one, uh, 17 to six. I mean, six, 17 to six. No touchdowns. I mean, okay. I, I like what Tampa Bay's doing. Not only with their offense, their defense is actually stepping up. Y'all have. I do love our defense. Uh, that cornerback that hurt himself. Oh. Uh, what's his name? Brent Grimes. Yeah, I like Brent Grimes as well. Um, Quan Alexander, Levante David, Gerald McCoy, plus all the weapons we added on offense. Um, I know it's only preseason, but our starting defense didn't allow a touchdown all preseason. Yeah, that's true. Um, but, so that's, that's, that's just a good sign for us, and it, and it makes me excited. I mean, just the presence of Gerald McCoy, though. I mean, quarterbacks I understand that, and they feel that pressure. So His get-off speed, he gets off the line so I feel, fast. I feel that Jay Cutler and the Dolphins are going to be doing a lot of hurry-up passes, quick passes, slants, screens. Mm -hmm. Y'all's linebackers and DNs are just crazy. Um, I, got, I got us winning. The Bucks winning 27 to 23. I see this one a bit more high scoring. We do have a lot of weapons on offense, and Jay Cutler also has a lot of weapons on offense. Um, so yeah, I see this being a high scoring game. I see the Dolphins getting a few light, light, light touchdowns. Okay. I think it's going to be a fun game to watch overall. Um, Falcons Bears is our next game. Who do you got? Well, I got them as my Super Bowl champion, so I got them winning 31 to seven. 31 to seven. Bears, they're not doing anything. Um, I got the Falcons winning this one, 31 to 20. Uh, whoever starting at quarterback for the Bears, I think they might get a, a touchdown on defense. Yeah, 21 for the Bears. 20, 31 to 20. Oh, 20. Um, that's two touchdowns, two field goals. I just I don't see it with Atlanta's defense and those wishy-washy quarterbacks. I mean, I, I see it. I think they're gonna. They might get a like a bullcrap touchdown, like a defense, a fumble. I see them. I just I see them getting 20. Um, Falcon, I got the Falcons 31, of course, with their offense. They're always going to put up around 30 points. <laughs> so, yeah, Falcons winning that game. Next game, this is this is my game of the week, actually. This is going to be a fun game to watch. Raiders and Titans. Who do you got? Raiders actually have them in the AFC uh, representing for the Super Bowl. And I don't see – I got them losing 27 to 24. So the Titans? The Titans. You got your, your um, Super Bowl team losing week one? All right. All um, right. Like I said, this is my game of the week. I got the Raiders actually beating the Titans 35-30. to It's going to be a fun matchup between Garrett Carr and Marcus Mariota. Yep. I like the Titans' run game. It's going to free open a lot of things for Mariota in the play action. I'm, just, I'm ready to see Mariota this year. I mean, I hope he don't do good because he's in my division. But he just he's always had an injury. He's never really had the offensive line or really the coaching staff in that matter. But I just think he's going to have a big year this year. Actually, I, I like the Titans' offensive line this year. Plus, with the run game, they were like – they had the – like. The top running offense and they last still do year. have DeMarco Murray, right? They have DeMarco Murray. He, he, he did really good things last year. I see him picking up right where he left off this season. He's a Adding player. Eric Decker. They drafted oh, the guy in the first player. round. I forgot they got Eric Decker. And their too. defense is pretty solid. Um, I, I see a big year for the Titans at like 10-6. and six. I got them in the playoffs. Well, I hope you're um, very wrong about that. <laughs> I got the Texans <laughs> in there as well. Don't worry. Uh, but, yeah, I see the Raiders winning this one, though. I got the Raiders in the AFC Championship game. I also see a big year for them and Derek Carr. Raiders over the Titans. Bengals, Ravens. Once again, I didn't know where to go with this one. I mean, they're not. Yeah. I'm not this real big on these way. teams, but I do have the Bengals winning that one 13 to 10. I got the Bengals over the Ravens 21 to 17. I, like I said, I see a big year for A.J. Green. I see a big game for A.J. Green, maybe two touchdowns in this one. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be um, a close game, a defensive battle. Uh, next game, you got the Redskins and the Eagles. Who do you got? That's another game that can go anywhere. I mean, just the, the NFC East, they're just, mm -hmm. I mean, any division game in the NFC East, you don't know. One team can be 0-10, and and another was 10-0, and and that 0-10 team could get the win. So, But I do have the Eagles winning that one 17-14. I actually have the Redskins winning this one 24-20. I see the Eagles having the better year out of the two, but I think Kirk Cousins is going to start off strong. And Eagles, I'm just not sure. I like what's his name, the quarterback. For the Eagles? Yeah, what's his Carson name? Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. I like him. I think he's going to be a good quarterback, but I think he's going to struggle early in the year with the Eagles. They, they added um, Alshon Jeffrey to at receiver. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that's good for them. I forgot about that one. That's good for them. I think he might have a touchdown on this one. But overall, I see the Redskins winning. Josh Norman, I see him basically taking him out of the game. 
So the Redskins, I got them winning. Coats, Rams, who you got? I got the Rams winning that one, 17 to 12. Coats with no touchdowns. That's that's a fun game. 17 to 12. Four field goals for the Colts. Okay. I'm a signable I'm just, fantasy I'm real, right now. I'm just real. I'm real <laughs> biased on the Colts. I don't like them at all. No. I got. I also have a defensive battle. I got the Colts winning this one, 17 to 13. We're pretty um, close on that one. Yeah, it's this is gonna be a snooze fest. It's not gonna be a fun yeah. game to watch at all. Uh, the Rams they added Sammy Watkins, Todd Gurley. Like I said, I see a, de a not a really good year for them, but I do see them improving a little bit. Uh, yeah. So, but I got the coats in that one. Panthers 49ers. Panthers 49ers. I love Cam Newton. He's probably one of my favorite quarterbacks. Sorry for that because I know you're a big Tampa Bay fan, but okay. I got them winning yeah. that one, 17 to three. 17-3. I got the Panthers over the 49ers, 26-14. to 49ers are, are a god-awful team. Like I said, there's no hope for them right now. <laughs> I, there's no hope for them right now. I don't see them doing good at all. I'm sorry, there is not. Panthers, I see a little bit of a bounce back year for them. And I think Cam Newton's going to play well this year and in this game. So, yeah, give me the Panthers. Seahawks, Packers. That's another, my game of the week right another there. Another fun game. I mean, your game of the week with the Raiders and Titans it will be a really good matchup, but I think this one is going to be an explosive game. I just think they're going to come out. I uh, got Packers actually winning that one 34-31. Ooh, that's a good one. I got the Seahawks beating the Packers 23-21. So Packers are my Super Bowl champions. Yep. And I think that's actually my championship game as well. I think they meet in the championship. I have them meeting in the championship. But I see the Seahawks winning this one. I think they're going to have like keep control of time of possession. So we both have uh, our Super Bowl teams going 0-1 in week one. I have my champions, so losing. Packers are my champions. Um, but yeah, uh, I think Seahawks are going to control the ball, and I see them winning this one. Um, another good game we have next, Giants-Cowboys. Always play week one. It's yep. always a good game. You just never know with these two teams. It's been, I mean, for as long as I can remember, every every week one, it's been it's, Giants it's and Cowboys. It's usually Giants and Cowboys on Sunday Night Football. Every time. It's basically a tradition now. But I do, I actually have the Giants winning that one. Pretty good win, 28-17. to I also have the Giants winning this one, 28-24. to um, there's, Let's face it, there's probably going to be no Ezekiel Elliott in this game. Giants have so many weapons. Cowboys lost a lot of people on defense. I mean, I don't understand that, how they, their whole secondary is pretty much going. This whole secondary, they got a linebacker that's hurt. Um, but yeah, um, it's, it's going to be close. It's always close. Um, big game for Dez. Dez and his, uh, um, what's his name, Dak. They're going to have great chemistry together again in this game. But I think the Giants are going to be a little bit too much week one, and they're going to take the win. Um, next game, Vikings Saints to our Monday night games. Who do you got? I got Saints in that one, 14 to nine. I mean, Vikings. Let's face it. Y'all's quarterback is Sam Bradford. I cannot, I can't stress it enough how much he's just trash. <laughs> he's just <laughs> trash. <laughs> Sorry, Sam Bradford. He's just trash. Um, so um, you had the Saints winning that one? Yeah, 14 to nine. Yeah, low scoring. Um, I got the Vikings winning this one. I got the Vikings over the Saints, 27 to 20. Sam Not, Bradford, 27. Yeah, that's gonna be a lot of rushing touchdowns because he won't throw those. He won't. He might throw one. <laughs> he might throw one. Um, but yeah, I like the Vikings defense a lot. Saints, Saints. I don't like the Saints defense. They have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. I'm, I mean, I'm a big Drew Brees fan. I love always, Drew. Always yeah. has been. Even but. even him with the division rival on the on the Saints. I love Drew Brees. He's always going to put up stats, no matter who his receivers are, who his running backs are. He's going to have stats. He's every year, I mean, every year you just you can't count out the Saints. I mean, you can't. I mean, some years yeah they do fall eight and eight, seven nine, but you just can't count out the Saints. Um, I don't have the Saints going that great this year. Drew Brees is getting old, but I I do see him having having a good year, a decent year, not one of his best. But yeah, give me the Vikings in this game. Uh, last game of the week, Broncos Chargers. Who you got? Broncos and Chargers. I actually have the Broncos winning that one, 20 to 17, in a close one. Game winning field goal, last seconds. Okay, I, I basically see the same thing happening because I also have the Broncos at 20 to 17 over the Chargers. Okay. Um, possibly. Um, I think that one could possibly go into overtime as well. It yeah, could be, I could see it. It could be a um, a field goal in overtime to give the Broncos the win. Uh, that's gonna be a good game. Like I said, I'm not high on either team. 
Broncos. They got they have a they have a great defense. They lost T.J. Ward today, the safety. Um, but their CBs, Chris Harris and Akeem Talib, always always gonna gonna have a great. Akeem, I, I can't stand him as a person, but he is a great football player. As a Buccaneer fan, I can't stand him. <laughs> he was so good, but he got into so much trouble on our team. It's what could have been. Yep. Uh, so yeah, give me the um, the Broncos in that one. We picked quite a few differently this week. Yeah, we did. Um, we do picks every year. You always finish in last. <laughs> I'm calling you out right now. Uh, so you might want to change some of those. Yeah. I do. I'm <laughs> always last. It's, it's sad to say, but I mean, I'm always also biased. I mean, all the AFC South teams, I always go against them, except the Texans, because you I'm can't. Not. You can't let your biases get in the way of your picks. You can't yeah. do that this year. Like I said, I, I hate Minnesota, so. You hate Minnesota for no reason. I don't care if they're lining up against the Browns last year. You hate Minnesota for no reason. Browns. Why do you hate Minnesota so much? I just, I don't Only like because of Sam Bradford? I don't like them as a team. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I hate their fan base. Why? I, just, I don't like Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota has a fan base? Um, Good question. <laughs> Might have to look into that one. Why do you hate their fan I base? Just, I don't like them, man. I mean... It's just, I've never liked them. I'm talking about, I've watched football my entire life, as long as I can remember. I've never been a Minnesota fan. Never even once liked them. I didn't know you had so much hate for the Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Minnesota Viking fans, if you're watching this, destroy him. <laughs> he hates your team. I don't know why. I don't know why. He hates, he hates the fans. So, if you're out there, please comment because... <laughs> I got a lot to tell y'all. I do not like them at all. You're a Texan fan. You can't say anything about the Vikings. Hey, I can say I hate them because I do. All right, I'm sure plenty of Vikings fans hate the Texans. Probably. All right, good reason. <laughs> I, I want to see. I want to see y'all get into a debate in the comment section. So Vikings fans, if you're out there, comment. Let us know what you think. Please do. <laughs> let us know what you think. Um, and everybody, just let us know what y'all's predictions are for Week One in the season. Thanks for watching, guys. We're out.